I can't believe I'm actually here guys. I am finally, finally in Japan. If you're fairly new to my channel, you may not know the obsession and love that I have with this country because outside of where I'm from, which is Ukraine and Canada, I would say that Japan is my number one favorite country. I started coming here when I was 15 years old uh, for a modeling contract. I came back many other times. I lived here for almost a year. But on this trip, I will be spending about two and a half months in the country. I'm gonna spend half of that time traveling around the country, seeing some new places. And then for the next half, I'm gonna be in Tokyo, visiting friends and also showing you guys my favorite city. But to start things off, where we are today, is Osaka. Obviously this is a video about Osaka, but I'm starting the video in my neighborhood, the area that I chose to stay in, which is Nishinari. Now that probably means nothing to you if you don't know much about Osaka or Japan, but technically speaking, this is one of the most dangerous areas um, in Osaka for sure, but also in the country. So I'm gonna get into that in my next video. I'm gonna do a whole video about this area because it does give you a different kind of perspective about Japan that we don't really um, hear about as much. But to start off our day, which will be much more PG, which will be going to the more popular tourist sites, showing you guys the more, you know, affluent areas of the city. I still wanted to start uh, the day here and I'm gonna take you guys to one of my favorite cafes. Just want to make a note of the beauty behind me though. These are truly a work of art here in Japan. We should have these everywhere where look at the amazing variety of drinks that you have in this vending machine and it's great because you can get them cold or hot they're all more or less a dollar 100 yen is actually one canadian dollar so about 80 cents uh us we really need this in our life Alright guys, so I am at Cafe Causerie, which is this lovely cafe that has been around for like 70 years here in the area. And usually they are known for their coffee since they have some very unique uh, brewing techniques and their dessert. But since it is the weekend and breakfast, uh, breakfast time, they also have a lovely breakfast set. So that's what I decided to get with some toast pumpkin soup, very unique, and also a boiled egg. So I'm going to have that to start off my day and would definitely recommend uh, popping into this place. After a lovely breakfast, I want to take you guys to the tallest building in all of Japan. It is called Abeno Karukas and it was actually Katsu, one of my lovely subscribers who said I should absolutely go up there because while it is an office building and then has a shopping center on the bottom, they do have an observation deck at the top and it's supposed to be amazing. Now keep in mind this should not be confused as the tallest building is taller than the tallest tower in Japan, which is the Sky Tree in Tokyo. I went there the last time I was in Japan only a few years 
after it had opened and that is a whole other experience. But for today, I will take you to the highest building in Japan. It is 100% worth coming up here, guys. The view is incredible. It is much more vast than I expected. The um, population of Osaka is almost 3 million people. It's the third largest city uh, in Japan. Now, the other cool thing that I learned that we can do is go out to a heliport pad that is open air to take pictures on. It happens every hour and you have to get tickets uh, on the 60th level here so if you buy your entrance ticket which is like I think 12 US dollars uh, for an extra five you can go up to the heliport. The helicopter pad is cool. It's obviously really amazing to be up this high in the open air, but <laughs> but they have a lot of rules that you can't actually go up to the edge. And I mean, even if you could, there's kind of this barrier of the other floor underneath it. So to be honest, you're not really getting a better view up here especially if you wanted to take pictures it's actually better in the observatory so if you just wanted to be out in the open air I would say do it um, but if you want a better view this isn't it back in the day maybe it's still around but uh, on top of Roppongi Hills in Tokyo you could go out onto their rooftop helicopter pad and that was a phenomenal view I don't know if it's still around but back in the day it was and that is a spectacular view So an absolute must when you are coming to Osaka, you have to see the main landmark, which is Osaka Castle. Now the original of this castle was built in the 1500s, but because of wars and natural disasters, it has been rebuilt many times. And it is actually a very large area. Uh, it's gardens that are also around the castle, as well as a moat. There is a proper moat with this castle. I'm so confused right now. Why does it almost look like there's cherry blossoms here right now? 
It is not the season. So here we are in Shinsaibashi, guys. This is like the downtown promenade of the city. All the fancy malls and restaurants and stuff. It's all in this area. I'd say if you're coming to Osaka for the first time and you have some extra money, this would actually be, you know, a great place to stay because you do have a lot of different transport lines here. It's walkable, even though I mean everywhere in Osaka is walkable. There's lots of great shops, restaurants, Dotengori, which is kind of like the nightlife entertainment district, which we'll be going to uh, later tonight. It's, you know, within walking distance of this area. friends I am in Dottenbury which is probably one of the most famous areas of the city it is like the main restaurant and entertainment area so here in Osaka there are two foods that they are especially known for which is takoyaki which is like the little octopus balls and then there is okonomiyaki which is the cabbage pancakes that usually have seafood in them but you can get it with other things as well so this street is probably the most famous place to try both of those foods and you will literally see like literally right in front of me um, a big octopus which usually means that that's a place to get the takoyaki balls
We're starting things off with an asahi, and this place is supposed to be really good for okonomiyaki, so we're gonna get one of those here, and then I'll get the takoyaki on the street. All right, guys, I think I chose a good place for the okonomiyaki. This actually looks really tasty, smells nice too. I got the more original kind where it's uh, pork and seafood together, so let's give that a go. So it's more or less like a savory pancake. Look how it's steaming right now. And I think that's fish skin on top. What was like crinkling, I think that's fish skin. I especially like this dish because it has cabbage. <laughs> I guess that's a Ukrainian me where I like a savory pancake uh, when it has some extra veggies in it. It is a nice combination to have the pork and the seafood together. Personally, I think I would prefer it with just meat, but uh, all in all, very good. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not the biggest fan of octopus. I have only had it maybe three or four times in a few different ways, one of them being takoyaki, and it wasn't my thing. So don't be expecting that I'm gonna like love this, uh, but I will try it, I'll try it for you guys. This will be the second time in my life that I've had them, so let's see if here in Osaka it's better than in Tokyo. <laughs> is okay. <laughs> I don't really like the texture of octopus and then the batter is actually quite like squishy. I remember the ones that I had in Tokyo were a bit like firmer. It was a bit of a thicker batter but it's interesting like it's definitely a dish that I can't really compare to anything else that I've had before. So if you come to Osaka like you gotta try it unless you're vegetarian or vegan or something but you know try it see what you think uh, maybe you'll love it. It's just not my favorite. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little tour around Osaka. I'm so glad I came here. There really is so much to see and do. But I hope you're ready for the rest of the adventures that I have planned here in Japan because there is a lot. Like, I mean, there's gonna be months of content just here in Japan. So let me know in the comments. Let me know if you have ever been here before. What were some of your favorite places in Osaka? And as always, I'm sending you so much love. I hope you're having a fantastic day and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye, guys. <laughs>